It's a beautiful morning, except for the bird crap on my window. I go to auctions and buy stuff. I had pumpkin spice coffee this morning. Unpopular opinion. Pumpkin spice sucks. You're damn right. I'm on my way to meet up with Hawkeye Mike. I'm driving to his house and then he's driving us to Pecatonica, Illinois. Don't know if I've ever been there. Uh, there's a flea market today. I'm a back road bitter. We finally made it to Mike's shady neighborhood. Oh, there he is. He's probably been sitting out there since four o'clock this morning. This is way bigger than I expected, Mike. That's what she said. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mike didn't tell me I needed a backpack. <laughs> I feel so naked. Much like Comic-Con the week before, this flea market was a little overwhelming. There was stuff everywhere, like acres and acres. Indoors, outdoors, there was food everywhere. Uh, there was garbage cans everywhere, which was awesome, actually. Kept the place clean. Very important. I do declare. <laughs> you got the vapors? <laughs> Everybody needs foam dice. You can get them dog toys. Such a variety of things, too. Uh, you know, there was things that were like fair prizes or, or, you know, like arcade prizes, brand new, made in China type stuff. Uh, and then there was, you know, vintage stuff. There was antiques. I'll bet you there were 10,000 hats. And I was drawn to them because I always... It's a funky owl. You know, I'm just I'm surprised if you've never seen a funky owl. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thou shallest smelleth my finger. Oh, you betcha, go pack. Plenty of Green Bay Packer memorabilia, I tell you what. See, this guy thought it was a Comic-Con too. He came dressed as Captain America. Looked pretty sharp. I was so thankful I didn't break anything when I was here. There were some, like, really shaky, like, card tables with fragile stuff on it. And then some people would have stuff just laying around on the ground. Like, come on. I'm big and clumsy and this is a bad idea. Especially if I were to trip on something on the ground, I would fall on your shaky card table and smash everything. Maybe that was the plan. They had stuff that they knew wouldn't sell, so they put it on shaky tables. So people would break it and have to pay for it. Clever marketing. Does anyone remember the movie Willow with uh, Warwick Davis and uh, Val Kilmer? I gotta revisit that pretty soon. I love that movie. Here's a few more hats if you're keeping count. Over here, I was trying to find a date for Mike. He seemed like his type of people. Yeah, ooh, hey, buddy. There, there we go. There's the girl for Mike. She seems nice. The main reason I'm uh, doing this voiceover is because they were playing music and I didn't want to get a copyright ding. Uh, hey, there's some more hats. You counting these up? Take a drink for every hat you see. Come on. Do it. Maybe I should just play my own stock music. 
Nah, I know you love hearing me talk. I got so much intelligent stuff to say. You still counting hats? I'm telling you, it's 10,000. You don't have to count, but you should. Someone has to fact check me because I, I make stuff up all the time. Somewhere in here, somebody had a bubble machine. I thought I had a video of it. It freaked me out, honestly. I just kind of walked into it. Mike's an old pro and I'm fat and slow. That's how it go. Honestly, Mike was so patient with me. Like he would, he would get way up ahead of me, and then uh, he'd have to. He would backtrack to find me because I was like a toddler. I was lost, wandering around, walking into people, walking into areas I probably shouldn't. He'd be like, "Come on, come on, sir." And I'd just stumble around like a moron. Hey, Popeye. Yep, there he is. <laughs> it's one of his times he had to backtrack. Come, Chuck. Come with me. Try to keep up, you fat bastard. No, he never said that. Like I said, he was very patient with me. And he's like, no, go at your own speed. But I could read between the lines. He wanted to hit me. Intergalactic porta potty, porta potty, intergalactic. What do you got there? What is that? This here? GoPro camera. Oh, there you go. That's just a handle. I was thinking, I was kind of an air tank. <laughs> it's supposed to float too, but I haven't yeah. tested that yet. No, <laughs> I'm always so paranoid. I think if someone asks about the camera, that's their way of saying, don't record here, buddy, or we'll throw you out. Mercy, you missed all these. That one looks like a mutant. Just one of the indoor buildings. I was not expecting this to be so huge. Did you buy anything yet? Nothing for me. Just the wife. These novelty socks were hilarious, but 12 bucks a piece, really? Those were the cheap ones. 12 up to 18, I think. I'm sorry, I'm cheap, but that just seems crazy. And they, they're not like black or gold toe. They're, they're just cheap cotton socks. I don't know. Seemed extravagant. But they are funny. Read some of these. But not out loud. There might be kids around. One of the joys of being old and forgetful is that as I'm walk, walking through this with you and doing my voiceover, uh, this is all new to me again. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I, f I forgot about that. <laughs> There's always signs, beer signs, seed signs, corn signs, mostly booze and beer though. Oh geez, there goes Mike, I gotta catch him. Two things I wanted so bad as a teenager. Back to the Future 2 shoes and the hoverboard. I don't think I was alone either. Hey, do you like the Beatles? Maybe maybe we could find something for you here. They had all kinds of crazy Beatles memorabilia in this booth. And I don't know if it was repops or if this was like legitimate stuff from the 60s, but everything Beatles you could think of. It's almost like Kiss today. Yeah, I think they probably had coffins and toilet paper with beetles on it. Uh, it's pretty neat. I happen to be a fan, so I thought it was cool. In case you didn't tell, I had to switch up cameras today. My GoPro battery died. So I had to use my phone half the time. I doubt it'll be seamless. I had a good time with Mike today. You want to see what we got? Take a look at this. Lord, no! Here's some highlights of what we found between 
the flea market and the garage sale and I'm not even remembering what I got where for the most part. I got this cool Lining Kugel's bar mat. Uh, cars, three for a buck. Some Matchbox. Uh, it's a 1921 Ford, I believe. Uh, it, was, it's, it was made in 1989. This one's from 1983. Little ice cream truck, Hot Wheel. And uh, I don't know. I don't think this one's very old, but just a little, uh, what do you call it, mail truck. Probably the best deal of the day was these knives. I paid 10 bucks a piece for them. One's an Uncle Henry by Schrade. Got the leather case, original box, the bone-like handle. I don't know if that's actual bone, but Uncle Henry, lock blade. Nice knife. This one I'm going to sell. It's heavy. This one I bought just for myself. It's got a nice case and look at the Ma Damascus. Eh, eh, eh. Just a pretty knife. A neat collectible type knife. No name on it. I actually kind of wonder if it's homemade. But it's got the full tang. Nice thick blade. Uh, I picked up this Coke bottle opener for a dollar. I just sold a Pepsi one uh, for about, I don't know, 15 bucks. These, I was disappointed to read that they are replicas. <laughs> They're, they still might have some value. I paid three bucks for the lot. And, uh, you know, they all come on little cards and there's Democrats and Republicans in here. Uh, FDR, another FDR. Who's that guy? I thought it was Teddy Roosevelt for a second, but now I'm not so sure. Campaign in 1908. That's no, it's Taft. LBJ all the way. Warren G. Harding. So these might be a dud, but they're kind of cool to look at anyway. It was kind of like going to Comic-Con. It was, uh, you know, prices were okay if you were looking for stuff to keep. But for reselling, I wasn't finding a lot of meat on the bone. But thanks for coming along. It was a long day. We were really tired and sweaty and hungry and thirsty. And Have a good one. See you next time. Thanks, guys. So, Chuck, did you find anything good at the flea market? Mm. I'm going through a roundabout. You can't see me. <laughs> Maybe a little controversy will make my channel take off. Pumpkin spice sucks.